You guys better tell me if my head is shiny. My name is Raymond Malinga and I am the CEO of the Creatures Animation Studio here in Kampala, Uganda. And to summarize, we make cartoons. I studied in Malaysia. I, I have a bachelor's degree in animation. And uh, so I also worked at an animation studio in Malaysia. And I quit my job there to come back to Uganda because uh, Africa was calling, or rather Uganda was calling, and I decided that, you see, if, if I do not come back to Uganda to contribute to an industry that I have passion for, then I have no right to, to criticize it too much, you know? I feel like I have to contribute to it, and that's why I came back. So I, in 2015, I started um, my animation studio with my brother, Robin Malinga, and uh, we started in the garage. Um, and it was just the two of us at the time and we, we, we ventured on this crazy journey that is starting an animation studio when a lot of indications told us we're not supposed to be doing this in Uganda. <laughs> but we, and, and so like, uh, yeah, and, and that's, that's basically how it started for us and, and, um, and started for me as well. I've always been passionate about storytelling I've always been passionate about um, imagination and taking things that possibly should not exist and taking them and making them exist in some way or form because I feel like there's a power in creating stories and projecting the future and bringing it to now, you know, and letting people experience other perspectives and other worlds and other, other interesting ideas because it, I think it just changes the mindset of how people experience the world and in Uganda in particular, I think it's very important for people to, like for our people to realize that there's more than just what we see every day, you know? The project that I'm most proud of is A Kalabanda Ate My Homework. And the reason why is that it's the, it's, it's the project that formed the studio. So we took about two years to, to do that project. Uh, we started off two people and it was my brother and I, and we decided that this, so what I decided was that I was going to form this, I was going to use this project to form my studio, understand how to create pipelines, to create production, uh, to create a, a, a high quality production here in Uganda. And we finished that project about seven people and these are people that we train that i trained on that project and i am proud of it because we we won several awards for that project international awards uh including being featured at the largest film festival in the world the can film festival in 2018 and uh i we were the only african animation that that year and i think i'm i'm really i'm really proud of that project and what it did for our studio well, I heard about the Janzi Awards from my friend, actually, who actually works for the Janzi Awards. <laughs> he told me, hey, you were part, you're, you're nominated for this Jan the Janzi Awards. And I was like, very interested in it because uh, of what it was, it was aiming to do, which is like giving people like me and people in my industry the recognition that they sometimes have not been getting. And uh, when I heard about it, I was like, you know, okay, let me give this a chance, you know, <laughs> right? Because we've, we've had a lot of awards around, you know, but I think b having awards, awards that are very specific for the arts and culture in the country and entertainment in the country and recognizing those as things that actually contribute and actually valuable to, to the foundation of what Uganda is going to be. I respected that a lot. No, I was not able to attend the award ceremony, unfortunately. Well, uh, well, we, as, as I mentioned before, we, we won a lot of international awards, but ironically, we had never won a Ugandan award. And so there was always this feeling of, are we doing something wrong here, you know? And I feel like what the Janzi Award did for us is one, had a tremendous boost for my team and myself as well, because it was like Uganda saying, no, we actually see you and we actually recognize you. And also doing that, like there are a lot of people who, um, cause, cause it was watched by a lot of locals. 
and I feel like our film had been going international, not gone local. So a lot of people, we got a lot of interest uh, from the locals about like who we actually are and we exist. And we got a lot of people coming in and inboxing us and saying, hey, yeah, you guys actually do some really cool stuff. And I was like, <laughs> it was really cool for us. So. Well, I think it has allowed us to reach more people, you know? And I know the internet penetration is not that far in Uganda yet, but I think what, what the internet is helping us make up for in Uganda is that because our, our audience is relatively small here, it allows us to reach a larger audience outside the boundaries of Uganda. So our films can reach people in Kenya, can reach people in South Africa, can reach people in Nigeria. And I think that the internet has been really helpful in helping us get broaden our audience regardless of the limitations our geographical limitations in uganda yeah so um animation is very capital intensive and we use a lot of high-end computers and uh, we also use computer software so we used to use autodesk maya uh, which is the industry standard for using uh, for creating these animated films it's, it's actually like a lot of you photoshop everything after effects but Autodesk Maya, but then we moved to an open source software called Blender. And so my entire team has shifted its entire pipeline to using Blender. And what I find very good about using Blender is that, the, you know, when you're operating in Uganda and in Africa, the limitations of so many artists to joining the professional industry, they have to pay for Maya and it's very expensive, but Blender is free. So the thing is that we also went on that journey of trying to figure out how do we actually do quality work with our open source and free software? And so that's what we've done. So, and that's what we're using. Leadership. I think I'll change, I'll change, I'll just change, I'll change the mindsets of the people leading, you know, because it, it is very important for the people who make strides in our industry to turn back and give opportunities to those people. And I feel like we often don't see that. And I think that that is the way I, I think. And if I was to change something, that would be something that I would change. I would say, hey, you guys are leaders. Whatever stride you make, bring five people, 10 people with you because our industry will move much faster. So working on a couple of projects. So personally, right now I'm working for, um, so I'm working on a on on a short film for Disney. Um, so they they launched uh, an African anthology where they selected uh, 10, 10, 10 films and ten ideas across Africa, and I'm representing Uganda. So I'm writing and directing for for, for Disney, and uh, I've been in production with them for about two years now and it's going to be launching on Disney Plus, but I don't know what else, what, what else they're going to do with it. <laughs> and it's an exciting project. I, I'm looking forward to Ugandans seeing what I'm doing for them, because that's me representing on an international scale. And my teammates have also contributed to that as well, that film as well. And internally, as uh, the Creatures Company, we are also working on a couple of, of projects. We're working on an, an animated TV show and also a feature film. And uh, those are projects that are still in development but they're very exciting and uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. I think um, for me, my expectations would be like for, for like, especially like my, my category, it would be really good if there were a lot of uh, screenings <laughs> for, 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 the, for the animation category or the film category, because like, I feel like uh, there was a bit of self-research <laughs> that you had to do when you see someone in a list you have to go and find them you know and, and 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 i think that that's what we suffered from in our category which was a lot of people did not know who these people were and so i think in the forthcoming janzu awards i think like the visibility of the nominees should be made a little bit um clearer to the audience so that when they're voting they're very informed about what's going on. And also I'm just looking, I'm just excited for the second edition. That means that it wasn't only a one-off, you know? <laughs> that's it. Eh? And that's what I'm excited about. This one.
for me what makes me happy is what can i say what makes me happy dude man what makes you happy man um that's a very difficult question eh? but i think I, I just love writing and creating stuff and i think that anytime i'm doing that i'm usually at my peak happiness you know when i'm just actually writing and i know i'm not saying this because of being a creative and i'm actually being honest like when i'm writing worlds and coming up with stuff and and just brainstorming on what 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 the possibilities are not being limited by now i i like escaping and seeing possibilities so for me that's just what makes me happy i just love creating you know?